What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Land. Today's video is a continuation of the three new towers that I will be talking about. I decided to separate them because putting all three together will make the video too long to watch. Secondly, I seem to have no luck with Kakashi. Every time I'm sleeping or outside, Kakashi will appear on the banner. So I gotta separate the videos for each tower. We are gonna take a look at the King of Heroes today. But before we move on, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and like this video to support the channel. You may also want to join my Discord server to meet like-minded people and find out what other games I am actively playing. It is still small but I hope you can join us. Discord server link in the description below. The next tower is the King of Heroes. He is the very popular Gilgamesh full power from Fate. Well, the 5 star Gilgamesh was already a meta in the past, now his 6 star is still a meta. This is a very unique and special tower. Let's start off with the requirements to acquire this tower. Surprisingly, the 6 star Gilgamesh is not difficult to obtain. Just save up 3 Iron Curve 4 will do. It is also the first actual combat tower that requires EXP to evolve. The 6 star Gilgamesh requires 6 EXP 3 to evolve as well. I always have quite a number of EXP 3 because I prefer to play infinite mode. So the material requirements wasn't a problem. Now in case you don't know how to get the EXP 3 or haven't realized how you can get the EXP 3, you can get it by evolving 2 EXP 2 and 2 EXP 1. Alternatively, that will cost you a total of 6 EXP 1. The Gilgamesh is currently the second most expensive tower in the game. It costs 1 million dollars to deploy. Yes, 1 million dollars. So you definitely need the 5 star Boma if you want to deploy this bad boy. He does not have any upgrades. I think he is the only combat tower to not have any upgrades. To me that's a weakness. It means that he cannot hit powerful 1 and powerful 2 mobs. Now considering the price, I thought that the developers should allow the 6 star Gilgamesh to hit powerful 1 and powerful 2 mobs. As he deals very heavy damage output, you can only place down one king of heroes. Be careful where you place him, he cannot be sold. It is better that you plan your Erwin properly first before placing down the king of heroes. This Gilgamesh can change forms and his stats and attack pattern will change too. But take note that he cannot change forms when under the effects of Erwin or Merlin. His multi forms also means he has different skills, users, stats and attack patterns. His first and default form is the good old Gilgamesh that we all know from the 5 star counterpart. Extremely low SPA of 0.1, high damage at over 8000 and a great range at 60. However, the AOE type is single target. This also means that he can deal over 200,000 damage in just 3 seconds to a single target. Well, 3 seconds is considered to be very fast in this game. You can see the mini daggers spawning and flying towards the mobs. The second form deals over 400,000 damage every 4 seconds. It has the same range at 60, but the AoE type is now Circle. A pretty decent sized circle, not the biggest, but I think it's medium sized. Looks like several explosive daggers. Form 3 deals over 875,000 damage every 8 seconds and the range is at 50. Although the range is slightly reduced, the circle increased its size by the significant amount. It also stuns mob for a while now. I consider the circle to be big. Look at the chains attacking the mobs. 
the final form, which has the highest DPS now, is the one players are going for. Over 3.8 million damage with a crazy 111 range. The SPA is very high at 30, but I think it is reasonable. The cone is really wide as well. Your attack will be able to hit air mobs. Just look at the thermal nuclear blast. It looks like a big fat orange cucumber. Any mobs before wave 50 are just obliterated. Not kidding. Buff him with Erwin and I think you should be able to achieve over 10 million damage per shot. 10 million! My gosh! So you can see how the 6 star Gilgamesh works. As you change its form from 1 to 4, the damage increases, SPA increases, the attack AoE type change, range changes. Just a recap, the first form is just like the 5 star Gilgamesh, just with much better stats. Second form has a medium sized circle AoE with great increase in damage. SPA is still considered low. From the second to third form, the circle become much larger. SPA and attack power increases, but the range decreases slightly. In the fourth form, AoE type changes again to a pretty wide cone. The attack power, SPA, and range increase multi folds to become a meta tower. Now you know the king of heroes is the king of heroes at the update he was launched. Being a tower where you can only place one of it down, I have talked about how these kind of towers can be more useful in a trio or quarter. I will link the video in the description below. In short, you can maximize the use of this type of towers in a trio or quartet because you cannot put down all your towers from all 6 slots. So that's it for today's video. The next video will be on 6 star Kakashi. Let's hope I see him on the banner soon. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!